We're headed to Brooklyn, New York City. There's a grand opening for the new Google store uh, tonight at 7 p.m. And the uh, Pixel Super fans, which is a group on Facebook, but it's uh, monitored only by Google. And they invite specific people by email to join that group. Um, it's for feedback, it's for user experience, like stuff like that. So it's not to the point where it's like, like the hashtag team pixel where I'm like getting free devices, but it's just underneath that. So that group was invited to come and be part of the grand opening of the new Google store in Brooklyn. And uh, I decided to go. So I'm going to go. Hopefully I'm going to be one of the first hundred there so I can get my uh, cool uh, gift bag. Um, it is currently 8.30 in the morning, earlier than I usually get up. But it's it says it's a seven and a half hour drive. Um, I'm betting on more like nine because a I didn't want to go through tolls, but I might do that if it saves some time. And uh, b it's getting into the city and all that other stuff. So, um, but yeah, our first stop, spend all my money on gas. All right, so we are on our way to New York. Um, about a couple hours in, it's 11 a.m. Um, estimated time of arrival is 5, which is really good because um, most of this is actually highway, so it's not like going back to Ohio where it's like a whole bunch of these like back roads and skipping over uh, tolls and you know through West Virginia and all the turning and the mountains and none of that. So that's that's good. Um, but I was thinking about it, and uh, this is in New York City obviously. But, uh, you know who else is based there? The Unlocker, Mr. Mobile, MKBHD, um, Lenny is there, uh, a couple guys I follow on Twitter, the, the Purposely Pixel guys. Um, so there's a chance I might be able to, to meet some of these guys and, uh, you know, get them on video or at least, you know, say hi or, you know, see them at the, uh, at the new store unveiling. So we'll see. So I'm a little disappointed, and I haven't talked about this yet, but uh, I have my uh, t-shirt that I made that says specs don't tell the whole story, and it has like the pictogram of a pixel on it. Um, at the risk of looking like a major nerd, I was going to wear it because it's my own design. It's my, I just thought it'd be cool for people to see it if I meet people or, um, you know, that kind of, I just thought it'd be cool. And I couldn't find it. Um, I took it on my trip back in March, and I thought maybe it was in my bag, which possibly might still be in my car, my trunk. But it wasn't, and it wasn't upstairs. I'm not sure where I would have put it, but unfortunately I can't wear that, so I'm just wearing a black shirt with a necklace instead, so. Did I just buy a bright red USB-C cord for my car for $20 because it's red? Yes, I did. But look at that. That's so cool. And it's braided? Yeah, that's worth it. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Bright red cord in my black car. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're actually making really good time. We are on about three and a half hours left. Uh, ETA is 5.30, the thing starts at seven. So as long as there's not a lot of like traffic and stuff at uh, in the city, which is more what I was worried about. Um, the highway part has been great, actually. I thought there was gonna be more traffic and more slowdowns and whatever, but there really hasn't been, so uh, we're on track. Maybe you've also got break, breaking into cars and stealing things, and then you've got just taking the rims and tires. What is that? What is that? It's Sonic the Hedgehog. God. First of all, it looks like a human. So we're here at the Chelsea, actually not Chelsea, the Brooklyn Google store. Super cool. Whole wall full of stuff. Uh, it's really cool because they, for everything that they offer, like this is YouTube music, it's going to be backwards because it's video, but um, it tells you about the service, what it does for the economy or like like uh, sustainability, and then also like like how it's made and all that stuff. It's pretty cool.
right, so <clears throat> Google Store was super fun. Um, I was supposed to stay in the city, but the hotel I booked was super sketchy. So I uh, pulled the trick where you move your reservation up two weeks and then I'm going to cancel. Um, so now I'm headed back home. I'm not driving the whole way. I'm just trying to get out of the city so I can find a, a better crossing the Manhattan Bridge to uh, get out of the city, find a hotel. All right, so I did have a video giving you an, an, a little tour of my uh, room, but for some reason it didn't save, so here are some pictures to uh, commemorate it. All right, so I kind of forgot to record this morning. Um, all I did was I got breakfast, um, McDonald's, not great. I'm gonna start on my fruit thing again uh, when I get back. So today, or tomorrow I mean, um, I gotta take my walk too, because I haven't exercised yesterday or today. I'm headed back to Ohio. Um, I have about seven hours left. There's apparently a slowdown ahead. Um, I bought another Pixel. Um, I got a Pixel 3a XL, actually. I thought it was white, which is the reason I wanted it, and it ended up being purple, which is okay because I want one. I want a purple one uh, with no damage or anything, which this is. I just thought it was going to be white because I'm trying to take uh, the super macro close-up shots of uh, every white Pixel and kind of catalog it. So, um, yeah, just kind of chilling out. It's a nice day for driving. Um, New Jersey has terrible drivers. Laws are a suggestion. Lines are a suggestion. Signs are a suggestion. They're flying all over the road. They're almost hitting you at stoplights, trying to go through red lights. They're trying to, they're honking at you, trying to go 95 and a 65. It's crazy. So yeah, don't ever move to New Jersey. It's it's not fun. Or New, well, New York makes more sense because it's so compact. But New Jersey, there's no reason to have a four lane highway and like speeding past people because they're going too slow, AKA the speed limit. I'm actually going over the speed limit anyway, so yeah. Coming and going, dropping things, the variety of vehicles, it's not like it's just a FedEx vehicle or UPS. Right. It's, it's, it's crazy, like it's just, it's the whole interworkings of it. The world is in a, at a moment right now. That was my comment. That was my comment on the live stream. I made it. I'm famous. So that was mostly an uneventful drive. Just very long. Um, I'm really glad I did it. Really cool to see the Google Store. I'll probably put some pictures in this video, maybe, um, as I'm talking about it. Um, but really cool to see the people who work there and um, the city um, and some of the other Google fans. Um, but it was definitely a very long drive. Um, it felt a lot longer today than it did yesterday. Um, and it was super stressful trying to get out of the city. I was dumb and I didn't look at it. I, I just made a quick reservation at a hotel and didn't check it out first. So note to self for next time. Um, but it was super fun, um, and I'm finishing off the day with a hot boy walk, since I've been sitting for literally eight hours straight. New York trip complete. Finally. Took long enough to get home. Gotta stop and check the mail, see if my new shoes are here, or if my uh, new necklace is here. Let's see. Ooh, yes, it did come. All right, we're back. Apologies for this. I didn't shower this morning. Didn't think that would be uh, such a detrimental decision. But uh, I want to show you guys my new <clears throat> my new uh, necklace from Relentless Betrayal. Not a sponsor yet. Hoping maybe one day because I love their stuff. That's where I got my uh, Burn the Ships flag. 
a lot of my like necklaces and shirts and stuff. So let me see if I can get this open. Nice and wrapped up. So classy. Little bag. It all comes in a little bag. Actually, fun fact, this is usually the free thing that comes with an... Ooh, that's really nice. So this is a silver chain. I don't know if it'll focus on it. Hang on. Let me see if I can change that. No, I guess not. So it's a silver chain. And people have been asking for this for a while from Relentless Betrayal. But this is the Burn the Ships pendant, which is polished, which I did not know. Let me see if I actually have one here. It's usually the thing they send free in packages. It's just like a little coin. I usually have one sitting around, but I don't see one right now. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? I can pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, looking forward to the next one. Thank you, Google. Um, hashtag gift from Google um, for giving me stuff. My fancy bag. Stick, Got to stick up for Brooklyn. Sorry, it's backwards for you guys. Let's see if I can spin it around, but I'm editing all this on this phone, on a Pixel 6 Pro. So, thanks to Google. Hope to uh, not really work with you guys again, but I, I hope so. So, uh, yeah, maybe be part of Team Pixel someday, something like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I was afraid that my, after spending the last two days in New York, uh, was gonna get flat and stuff, which it was, but look how floppy. Um, I used this shampoo that it's healthy every once in a while um, to, especially if you have like longer hair, and I'm trying to grow it out, so I gotta get this trimmed, but I'm trying to grow it out. Um, to have, actually I might have it right here. It's, um, it's whatever that one is, the other one. Um, it strips your hair of everything. Previously, it's a little more aggressive, so it's not something you would use like all the time. I do it like once a week, once every two weeks. And then no conditioner, no nothing, and then just let it sit overnight. Or through the day, like I'll wear a hat. Kind of let it stew. Um, and that kind of brings back some of like, the natural oils and stuff that and the natural life back in your hair, so. Hair tips with Maki. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on, but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here